You know, there are a lot of people from the Triad that visit the Blowing Rock area during the fall, and uh, we hear that the fall color now is moving pretty good there, and uh, that's a good thing, but if you haven't been there in a while, you may be shocked at how much Blowing Rock has grown up. Amanda Lugenbell with BlowingRock.com fills us in. Well, Amanda, all of us in the Triad love that neck of the woods, that's for sure. And and you were telling me now that you're we're starting to see some great fall color up that way. Yes, uh, color does tend, tend to start at higher elevations, so we're seeing um, more consistent color on the ridges uh, surrounding Blowing Rock, but we are getting a little bit of color in town at this elevation. So obviously people come to see the leaves, but there's much more to do in Blowing Rock. Give us some reasons we can make that couple of hour drive and head up your way. Absolutely. There are a lot of opportunities for outdoor adventure. Some of the things that you can do when you're up here is some great fishing. We have some excellent guides. There's zip lines and climbing parks, lots of adventure activities to do. And of course, they're all taking extra precautions for safety. You can hike or walk one of our many trails. Cone Memorial Park has 25 miles of carriage trails for you to enjoy. You can practically get lost out there. There's so much to look at. And uh, you can get takeout from one of our restaurants and, and have a memorable picnic, you know, out on the parkway or in one of our gorgeous parks. Let's talk uh, briefly about, uh, you and I were chatting about weekends. It seems like everybody runs up there for day trips for the weekends, but weekdays would offer kind of a different experience. Yeah, as you can see behind me, there's uh, some parking available on uh, the middle of the week. And there are a few people on the sidewalks, but it's pretty quiet during the middle of the week. And so you'll get um, a quieter experience. It's less crowded on trails and at restaurants and in our shops. So you know, you can have a much more relaxed visit. That's not to say that you can't have a good time on the weekend though. So we encourage anybody to come up whenever they can get the chance to. That's true, we love it up there. Take care of Blowing Rock and we'll see you up there soon. I can tell you firsthand that street she was on there, the main little street right there at Blowing Rock, good luck in finding a parking place on a Saturday, Sunday there. So that was kind of a, a good thing. You want to go on the weekdays. So I asked you on Facebook, what is your quick fall getaway uh, in North Carolina? And here's what you had to say. Cindy said, Blowing Rock because of the park and shopping and Price Lake because of the peacefulness and canoeing there. Brenda says, I love Asheville, but getting on the Blue Ridge Parkway is also very scenic. It is. It is beautiful up there. Rhonda says, is the beach. She actually likes the beach. I could go for that as well. Um, Carol said, my former house in Weaverville saw the mountains change color every day, day by day. And Diane also agrees and says, um, blowing rock. I would say for quick uh, getaways that aren't too far, two to three hours, Asheville blowing rock, my top two, but they're for totally different reasons. Asheville is so, you know, it's just really hip and happening and all the breweries up there. And then blowing rock is super quaint and just a beautiful downtown area. Hip and happening. That should be their new city slogan, Eric Chilton. Copyright right oh, here. Um, I, like I love Asheville. I went on a girl's trip there last September, and you know how your phone shows you memories of one year ago today? Those popped up a couple weeks ago, and it was really sad that I wasn't there again this year, but hopefully going to make it around Christmas time. Speaking of Christmas time, that was the first time that I went to Asheville. Uh, it was my first day trip uh, just after I had moved uh, here to North Carolina, kind of my first weekend away. And that was such a great experience, but I need to try Blowing Rock and, and I will brave the crowds on a Saturday, it's okay. One of my very good friends is getting married in Blowing Rock next year. It's certainly a beautiful venue. Oh wow, and you guys know that being a mountaineer and an app alum that I have a soft spot for Blowing Rock in the Boone area, and I go back as often as I can. That you know, that's no secret. If you're going on the weekend, you know, plan to park a long ways away and then walk for quite a while. But if the weather's nice, it's a nice walk downtown. And that, absolutely, Blowing Rock, Boone, that area, one of my favorite spots to go, and especially right now, already starting to see some nice color in the trees.